everyone, and thank you so much for stopping by today. I have a little Amazon haul for you guys with some great pieces that you can wear now and into fall, especially if you live in a warm climate like I do. I also have a couple of bonus items to throw in towards the end of the video, so be sure you stick around for those. So let's get right into the try-on with this dress that I'm wearing right now. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this dress. Y'all really liked it based on the response I got on Instagram. And it's this little mini dress from the brand Doka 2. I'm wearing it in a size medium and it fits me perfectly. I love this dress because it has a cute flattering A-line shape. It just kind of skims across the body, but it doesn't tint out and make you look huge like some dresses like this can. Hides what you want it to hide and just makes it so flattering. And this dress is under $30. The sleeves here you can see have this ruffle detail and just a little notched out neck right there. It has one tier on the skirt at the bottom, so it's kind of a drop waist style, which I like. Dresses like this work for me because I'm so short-waisted and it has pockets. And if you don't want black, not to worry, this comes in black, white, and a number of other colors. The dress comes with some of those little ties <laughs> they attached right here, and they were long and had little gold beads on the end of them. I cut those off. I never tie them. So in this first look, this is actually the way I wore the dress to a date night with my husband with these studded heeled sandals by Dream Pairs. And I set off the black of the dress with some fun turquoise jewelry. I've got this stack turquoise bead bracelet set and these drop earrings. I couldn't find any exactly like this on Amazon, but I'll link some that are very similar. These were a gift from one of my daughters, so I have no idea where she got them, but I did find some really close that I'll link for you down below. And then I'm carrying my little Pippa crossbody bag from MZ Wallace. This is just such a versatile bag. It comes with three different straps, so it can be very sporty with the crossbody. It also comes with a leather strap and then this braided one with a silver detail that just dresses up an otherwise pretty basic purse. So this is my first look in this dress. Let me show you a couple more. Here's a little bit more casual way to wear the dress. Took off those heels and put on my flat Tory Burch flip-flop sandals. Added a small tan crossbody bag. This is the perfect daytime look for just shopping or meeting friends for lunch. Something for a casual occasion when you wanna look a little bit more elevated. A dress just helps you look pulled together and like you put some thought into your outfit, but you're still extremely comfortable. And then it comes in some beautiful pastel colors as well and white. So if you need a white dress for a graduation or something like that, that would be perfect too. So but I love it here just with these flat sandals and a simple bag, perfect daytime look. This dress would also make the perfect game day dress. You know, football season is right around the corner. So whether you cheer on a college team or maybe it's a high school team, or a pro team. It's always fun to dress up for the games. At least that's a big thing here in the South, especially in the SEC. And yes, I'm sporting my Roll Tide pin. I don't have a lot of Bama gear, but I pulled this out and this is exactly something I would wear to one of those early football games when it's still in the 90s, but you want to be cute. So I swapped out the footwear here for a little pair of off-white Western booties and I've got my clear stadium bag. This one is by the Hammett brand and it is a little pricey, especially for a clear bag, but I knew that when I got it, I would use it for any kind of concert or game or occasion when I needed a clear bag. So that's why I just, I spent a little extra money on it so I could get something that would last and not just fall apart. The boots are last season from Walmart, but I, they do have some similar this year. I believe they're by Madden NYC. I will find those and link those for you down below along with everything you see in today's video. And speaking of game day, let me know if you would like to see a video featuring game day looks. I think that would be a good thing to do as we head into football season. So if you are a football lover, if you like to attend football games and would like to see some game day looks, leave me a comment down below and I'll work on that for you.
Well, it has decided to get dark outside and storm, so that's why my lighting is a little bit weird looking right now. It's just one of those summertime pop-up rain showers when it gets so humid and then a thunderstorm develops. Next, I've got this knit set from Amazon, and you may be thinking, hey, that looks familiar. <laughs> well, it is. I had another one of these sets, and my daughter loved it, so she took it. So I ordered another one for myself, and this time I ordered it from a different brand for a couple of reasons. This is what it looks like, very similar to my other one. This one has not quite as high of a neckline as the other one did. So I like that about it because I do have a short neck. So I like the way this one just doesn't come up and touch my neck like the other one did. And also the shorts are just kind of plain across the front. They don't have a drawstring and I like that about them as well and they don't seem to be quite as high rise as the previous brand. Now here today what I've done is I added one of those stretchy belts from the three-piece belt set also from Amazon just to give it a little more polish and kind of pull everything together. I just did a half tuck in the front and then left it out everywhere else and I'm wearing it with these platform wedge sandals that are oh so comfortable these are by dream pairs also on Amazon as you know I always link everything down in the description below and to get to the description just go underneath the video you'll see the title of the video and underneath the title you'll see three dots and then the word more so click where it says more that will open up the description area and all the links are there. I will also try to remember to copy all the links and put them in a pinned comment. And that way the comment will be the first one at the top of the comments with all, all the links in there as well. Well, now it is really storming outside. It is dark as night and the rain is hitting on my window. It looks like I'm in a car wash. So I hope I don't lose electricity. I have found the perfect chambray dress on Amazon. After a lot of trial and error, I've found one that is just right. It's this one by the brand, it's called Zilcremo, and I'm wearing this in a size medium. It is a great drapey, soft chambray fabric. It's not thick like denim, but it's not so thin that it feels flimsy. It has a nice drape and weight to it. Just feels much more expensive than it is. And speaking of that, it is just under $40. Not only does it come in this light chambray, it comes in a darker blue denim color, as well as several colors and shades of denim. They even have green and black and a rust color. So lots of great colors. This is a perfect item to transition from now into fall, because now you can wear this as I have done here with with sandals and my tote bag. These are both from Amazon, of course. And this is a great everyday outfit when you want to look pulled together but not put a lot of thought or effort into it. Just put this on and go. You could also dress this up with some boots and some fun team gear and this would be a great game day dress. You know, put on those same white boots I had on with the previous dress and this could definitely be a fun game day look. You can slip this on with some sneakers and a cute little crossbody bag and make it into kind of a sporty look. This would be a great dress to take on a trip because it's so versatile. You could wear it pretty much anywhere. Great for sightseeing or anywhere like that. So it's just super versatile. And as the temperatures cool off, this can transition right into fall. Put it on with some boots or booties and a sweater or jacket and you've got a great fall transition outfit for when it's cool in the morning, but the temperatures rise later in the day. So I'm really loving this chambray dress and it's still storming. So my lighting is wacky. Next, I have this jumpsuit from Amazon. I saw this on my friend Stacy's journey, her channel. I don't know if you watch Stacy, but check her channel out. I'll put a link to it down in the description. This looked so cute on her and I had to order it myself 
to check it out and see what I thought. It is a great looking dressy jumpsuit, but it's got some flaws. I'll start with the positives. It's made out of this nice black crepey fabric. And again, I think it comes in additional colors. It has just this kind of stand up collar and then a plunging neckline. And this little detail is really nice. See the little sleeves have this pleat detail to them, which I think just adds a nice detail and makes this look, you know, elevated beyond just an Amazon jumpsuit. Here's where the problems start. This runs extremely small. I'm wearing it in a size medium and I could barely get it zipped. Now, yes, I have gained some weight this summer, but even if I hadn't, this would have been too small on me. The pants are okay and I really like the pants. They're just this loose, flowy, wide leg pant. And on me, they come right to my ankle so they're a little bit cropped on most people but it is this top part that is so tight and when you maybe okay from the front but when you see me from the back you'll know what the problem is it is so tight like through my rib cage and through my bust it's pulling this really bad so you can see straight down into my bra and then you can see my bra really bad here in the sleeves it came with a self tie belt just made out of the same fabric as this but i ditched that and i added my own black belt i think it would look better with a thinner belt a little bit dressier belt but this is what I had handy, so this is what I grabbed. This is priced at under $50, and I would be interested in trying this in a large just to see how it looks, but if you are interested in this, just know size up one or two sizes because the fit is snug, especially if you're a bigger busted. It's going to be super tight on you. I also wanted to show you some shoes that I have seen all over Instagram. Lots of influencers have worn these this summer. So I decided to try some and it's these wedge sandals. It's like an espadrille wedge with the rope detailing all around the sandal. And it's a platform wedge and it's just got these clear straps. So they go with absolutely everything. But with my feet and just my ankles, there is no way I can wear these. I couldn't wear a wedge this high without a strap around the ankle. So I knew it was a sizable wedge, but I didn't realize just how tall it was until I ordered these and received them. So these are going back, but I will link them for you down below in case you're interested. And I'm trying to look for a similar pair that doesn't have as high of a heel. So if you find any like that, let me know. <laughs> Post on the community tab or leave me a comment here and let me know. But these are really cute and they're around $40, so a good price, but just too high for me. Well, the storm is finally over. It's moving out, so it's starting to get a little bit lighter outside. This next piece is something fun and different. It is from Amazon, and it is this little two-piece sport dress. I love a skirt or a skirt in the summertime. Of course, these athletic dresses have been all the rage for a couple of years now, but like jumpsuits, a lot of people don't like them because you have to pull the whole thing down to go to the restroom. Well, this one is unique in that it's actually a two-piece set. It is the dress that you see here, but underneath the shorts are actually separate shorts. So you have ease of going to the bathroom. The shorts have pockets on either side to put a tennis ball in or your phone or AirPods or whatever you're carrying around with you. I'm wearing this in a medium. It does come in black and navy and some other neutral colors, but I chose this pink. With Barbie being all the rage, I went Barbie in this outfit. So if you play tennis or pickleball or just enjoy wearing a skirt or skirt like I do when you're out walking, this is a great option. It's priced at under $40. The only thing I will say is it's showing rolls down my back. It's a little tight through the top. It may be because I'm carrying a few extra pounds right now. If I was at my normal weight, maybe it wouldn't fit like that. Or if it were a darker color, it may not be as noticeable. 
but I dislike the lumps and rolls I see around my bra and everything in the back. But I do love this happy Barbie pink, and with this A-line silhouette, it gives you that nice hourglass shape, and it's great for a active wear dress. Next, I have more of a fall or an early fall look, and it features this sweater. <laughs> this is one of my Nordstrom anniversary sale items that I ordered, and it went out of stock, then it came back in stock, and I ordered it, and it took longer to get here than I anticipated, so I didn't include it in my Nordstrom hauls. But here it is. It's this v-neck sweater by Open Edit, and it is an oversized kind of boxy fit, but it's not really long. I like the length on it. It makes it easy to do a front tuck. The sleeves were a little bit long on me. Surprise, surprise. So I have rolled them up a couple of times, and I think they are working just fine. Now, this is a very plunging neckline. If I keep this sweater, I would probably wear a cami with it just so that I don't flash somebody because with this being a looser sweater, when I bend over, that that's just gonna be all open and on display. That is just something to keep in mind. You could wear a little cami, like a bra cami underneath it, and that would be fine too, just to give you some coverage. I know that the Nordstrom sale is over, but I still wanted to include this in today's video to show you guys, because this would be a great early fall outfit you know, when you don't need a coat or anything and you can still wear something with this much skin showing. And I'm wearing it with those Mother jeans. These are the Ryder Slim Straight Ankle Jeans by Mother. And they're called ankle jeans, but on me, they're pretty much full length. And I really like the leg on these. You can wear booties up under them. They also look really good with mules or clogs or any kind of shoe like that or flats. You can wear sneakers with them. Just a really nice leg silhouette for a variety of shoe options. Lastly, this is another kind of wild card item that I wanted to throw in the video because it didn't really fit anywhere else. And it is this tennis dress from Spanx. I have seen this around on their website in different places and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try that because I bet with it being Spanx, it's gonna be great. So I ordered it in size medium, which is my normal Spanx size. It is a really nice breathable fabric. It's got a stretchy lining and then this top layer is just very, very thin. The skirt is cute because it's got this little accordion pleat detail going all around the bottom. It's unique in that it does have built-in shorts, but they are accessible in the back. I haven't seen another dress like this that's an all-in-one, but it's got this elastic in the back and the shorts are detached just in the back, so you can pull them down and go to the restroom. And I think that is very genius and very smart. So that aspect of it is great. Now it kind of has some support up top, but not really. I'm not wearing a bra right now, but I would definitely need something else for support in this dress. There's just really minimal support, just like a little shelf bra there. So, and with these straps, and it being scooped out in the back. You can't really wear much of a sports bra. I don't know what kind of bra you wear with this. I certainly wouldn't want to wear a strapless bra with something that I was gonna go out and be active in. So I don't know about that situation. And then the silhouette of the dress overall is giving me nightgown vibes. What do you think? It's just this neckline and then the scooped out in the back and then just kind of the grazing aspect of the whole dress. It's just really giving nightgown. So this is not going to be a keeper. It's going back to Spanx. Spanx makes a lot of good things, but this one is a no for me. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a note down below and let me know what your favorite was. And until I see you in my next video, have a stylish day. Bye.